Hey everybody, welcome back to Out of 7 Beer Reviews. I'm excited to be bringing you this week one of my favorite lagers, Tusker. It's a Kenyan made product owned by the same company uh, that owns Guinness, Diageo. They surely have a, an eye for really fine beers and this is no exception. It's going to score very highly for me. First off, let's take a look at the visuals. As you can see, very simple label with uh, an elephant on front. Definitely gives you a little bit of, a little bit of character, lets you know, reminds you this is a, an African made product. Um, and definitely gonna be one of the only beers from the African continent that I've been able to get my hands on. Uh, I'd be very curious to try others. Um, if you go to the website, they uh, say that the ingredients are all locally sourced. Uh, the barley, the water, the yeast, hops. Uh, you can read more about the, the individual details of those ingredients. This clock's in at about 4.2 ABV. A little on the low side, but still a, a reasonable amount of booze. Um, probably not going to get you very drunk if you drink a bunch of them. But uh, let's uh, take a look in the glass. This one's sudsy. Okay. Oh, that looks wonderful. All right. So it looks like a lager. <laughs> Very golden. Not too terribly clear. A little bit of haze to it. Not too much head. And definitely smells different. You can you can smell, I, I think the barley is the thing that comes to the front of the nose the, the quickest. And at, at the end, you can smell a little bit of the yeast. And we'll talk about that in the taste. For visuals though, it looks like a pretty average lager. Bottles, not too impressive, but it tells you what it is. I like it just fine. Four is good, about a four for visuals. For taste. Yeah, definitely a very distinct flavor. Almost reminiscent of some rice beers, but definitely not so much uh, of that intense sort of almost steel keg taste you can, you can get every now and then. Um, towards the end of the taste, you can uh, focus in on the hop, uh, both the hops and the yeast. And I think the yeast is what, what gives it a little bit different flavor. It's a pretty good tasting beer overall. I'd say about a 5 out of 7. <clears throat> as far as the style goes, um, I think this is a very good example uh, of a lager. I think it's uh, very tasty. It's not... Um, it doesn't taste too watered down, uh, like some more mainstream lagers. Um, for style, I give it a very solid six. Pretty drinkable too. Uh, a little over average. We're gonna go with a five out of seven there. I could go through these uh, if I really wanted. Give me a six pack. <laughs> Now, the signature ingredients are going to account for the X factor here. It definitely tastes different. I think the yeast gives most of the character to this. I think the barley is well. I think the hops come through a little less clear. But the very, the very first part of the sip you take uh, definitely has some character to it. And at the very end, I think, is when you get a sort of yeasty flavor. And it's very hard to describe what yeast tastes like, I think. And it's light, almost earthy, um, aromatic taste. Overall, I think it sets itself apart very, very, very well from lagers. I think it's about a six out of seven. The one drawback for this beer is gonna be the value. I paid about $3 a bottle for this normal sized bottle. As a single though, and I think I was paying a little extra. For, for a six pack, you'll probably be able to find it uh, 
at least ten dollars maybe even 12 upwards of 15 uh, it's going to be in that range it's going to cost you a little extra for the import factor i think that is going to drag it down a little bit the value runs about a three even though considering it is a really good product lagers not the most exciting beer and to be able to uh, be have to pay that much for the product it just doesn't doesn't make too much sense that being the only downside this beer overall scores a five and a half i hate to go through half numbers but lagers are only but so exciting but i think this is a great example of it so if you ever see a bottle of tusker definitely give it a shot thanks for joining me again catch you guys next time